welcome in Ankita's tech tutorial. In today's class, we are going to learn HTML style attributes. Text formatting by using HTML and CSS. This class is very useful for grade 7 and for web designers. In today's class, we are going to learn formatting text in HTML, font family with style attribute, font color with style attribute. So let's start writing program in HTML. So I have opened here Notepad. Notepad is a text editor. So in Notepad we will start writing program. Here I have some basic code of HTML. First line of HTML program is starting with doc type HTML and then next these are basic syntax of HTML program. That is starting the program with HTML and close with close HTML. This slash means close. End tag. This is a start tag and this one is end tag. Same way, head, close head, title, close title, body, close body. So let's see what is doc type. All HTML documents must start with doc type declaration. The declaration is not an HTML tag. It is an information to the browser about document type. In HTML, we have some formatting tags that is B for bold to highlight the text. Strong, strong is similar to the bold. Then I. I is used for italic. The text is shown in italics. U. U for underline. Underline the text. So these are some formatting tags in HTML. The content which were written in the body section of HTML program that will display on the web browser. So here we will start writing first tag that is H1. H1 is used for heading. Then next tag I am using here B and I for italic so this sentence I have written here while closing tag the tag whichever you used at the end that you will close first means I close I then slash B and then slash H1 now we will save our file, go to file menu, save as, formatting.html, location is document, click on save and now to open your file, go to documents, check your file name here and open it, uh, result is displayed. We will increase the size. Honesty is the best policy. This rover is displayed in big handwriting because of H1. And this is a bold that is B tag we used and italic because of I tag. That's it. Now we will continue our program. Here next tag is HR. HR for horizontal rule. With the help of this tag, you will get one horizontal line on the web page. Just save these changes. Go to browser and refresh here. One horizontal line is displayed on the web page. But just observe this program. There is no end tag for HR. HR is only open tag, no close. Because this is called empty tag. In HTML, there are some tags. They have only on tag, not off. So no need to close HR. Now next tag, P tag, P for paragraph. So the next sentence we will see in the paragraph. And the text I am writing here, this text I want to see on the web browser. Here we will use I tag. Now close, after writing the text, close I and close P. Save the changes, go to browser and refresh here. So this is my web page. Next step is changing font. So we will change font of this line. This will convert into Algerian and next sentence we will convert into Vardana font. Let's see. HTML style attributes. Style attributes are used for making our web page stylish. 
means we can change font of our web page font color and font size these are three style attributes and that attributes we can use in any container tag like p tag h1 tag body tag table list mark v in any container tag we can use style so here syntax is tag name style is equal to property colon value what is this property and value these are css property and css value css is used to make your web page attractive more attractive so this css values we are using in html program p style font family algerian your sentence and close p with this tag our sentence will change into algerian and next is for vardana font let's see this style attribute in practically here in h1 we will use style attribute for first sentence in algerian style is equal to inverted comma in that font family font hyphen family colon algerian so here h1 is our tag in that style attribute font family is the property and algerian is value same way here we will do in the p tag style is equal to font family font hyphen family colon vardana so now my two sentence will display in two different font just save these changes go to browser and refresh here see first sentence in algerian and next paragraph is in vardana font that's it to make this web page more attractive we will change font color so go to notepad and in the same attribute you have to write there next value that is font color to write more properties in same attribute we will use their semicolon then next property is color colon name of the color is red and here for for next paragraph again here colon color make sure your color spelling is c o l o r colon for this sentence we will use blue now save these changes go to browser and refresh yes now my web page is colorful title is in red color and paragraph is in blue color now we will change background color of this web page to change background color we have to give style attribute in body tag style is equal to background hyphen color colon name of the color that is yellow complete inverted comma now save these changes go to browser and refresh here that's it my web page is now colorful with background color with font and font color in html bg color tag is also used for changing background color on the place of style attribute we can use here bg color attribute for changing background color this is style attribute from css hope you understand this if you want to display your title in the center of the web page then you can use their style align center attribute and to change the size of text we have here font size attribute so for that all i will make a new video otherwise this video will be very big if you like this video then please like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much